Hi everyone, thanks for joining us. We are less than 24 hours away from the first puck drop of Hockey Day. And while the event is expected to draw thousands, parking on the site will be limited. Our Josh Peterson shows us the options when attending Hockey Day. Excitement is in the air and the ice is ready as finishing touches are made on Bemidji's Hockey Day experience. With thousands of people expected to attend, a plan to handle the high volume was designed to get everyone from point A to point B. Once you choose a location, then you get down to the details because traffic and parking are a huge part of any event. And when you got an event of this size and magnitude, it's critical. And I think we've got a real good game plan. While there appears to be plenty of parking here on site at Hockey Day Minnesota, portions of the lot are already reserved. Meaning if you want to guarantee yourself a parking spot, it's best to use the park and ride option. A shuttle is the number one way to get here. That's the easiest and it'll bring you right to the main gate, drop you right off. Um, but if you want to try some on-site parking, we do have on-site parking available all three days. There's limited $20 paid parking. There will be two bus lines running at set times both Thursday and Friday and then all day Saturday. The blue line offers the park and ride option beginning at Bemidji State University in the Bangsburg parking lot Thursday and Friday from 515 until 1230 a.m or travel west and pick up a shuttle at the University Heights lot near the intersection of 15th Street and Minnesota Avenue. Shuttles will also travel down Minnesota and drop off and pick up at Bar 209 in downtown Bemidji before heading over to the Sanford Center at the site of Hockey Day, Minnesota. But other restaurants and hotels will be offering shuttle services as well. We want to get a lot of people back and forth between downtown and the Sanford Center. Um, with the parking too, it's going to help out a lot having that transportation. With the clock winding down, the best recommendation from Hockey Day organizers is to plan ahead and be prepared. It's definitely our recommendation is to take a shuttle. It'll bring you right to the front door, drop you off in a heated bus obviously, and then you get dropped off and then you come right back out and leave when you want. They'll pick you up and they'll bring you right back to your car. In Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. And here is a live look at from our tower camera, our Lakeland PBS tower camera at the site of Hockey Day, Minnesota. Committee members are still on site making some last minute finishing touches. We'll be live tomorrow night with portions of our newscast from the site. The first puck drops tomorrow night at 7 p.m. And for a map and schedule of the park, and ride routes and a link to our live tower cam. You can visit our website at lptv.org. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.